Hey guys, Demeter here from Yurt Studio, and in this quick video, we're going to look at FreeCAD. FreeCAD is an open source software that's used quite a bit for CAD and CAM. And actually, I got introduced by it by going to a CATIA workshop and realizing the similarities between CATIA, what CATIA offers, and what FreeCAD offers in terms of parametric modeling. In case you're not familiar with parametric modeling, in the sense of outside of Grasshopper, it's quite straightforward and quite intuitive. It works similar to the way the family constraints work within Revit, in the sense that you have a sketch, you, you can constrain a sketch, and then you can do other elements with that. In this case, we are lofting, and also pulling geometry out of it, and then intersecting floors with the boolean loft it's extremely powerful for example to do something like what I'm showing here in this example would take a significant amount of time to do in grasshopper and then if we want to change the base sketches multiple times in grasshopper you know if we add an extra line it's a condition that we sort of need to think about how it intersects, how it rotates, how it overlaps with different geometry, how we need to trim it and to, to join our profile to loft it. Whereas in here, if we go to the sketch view, it's actually just a couple of lines that we need to change and adjust. And all of the sketches, they can have constraints that can be tied together. Or we can even use a base sketch from which we reference all other sketches. For example, if we have a radius that we want to keep, as in this case, the reddish lines, they come from an external sketch. And what's also very amazing is how tight the radii can be kept. For example, in Rhino, it's always a struggle to see, to keep the radii as proper arcs because in Rhino everything gets converted I think in NURBS whereas in FreeCAD it makes it quick and instantaneous so thanks for watching and if you have any questions, queries or like to know more please let me know